one of the things we're doing to fuel more inventive, uh, inventiveness like this, to fuel more private sector innovation and discovery, is to make the vast amounts of America's data open and easy to access for the first time in history. So talented entrepreneurs are doing some pretty amazing stuff with data that's already being collected by government. So over at the Capitol factory, I met with folks behind a startup called Storm Pulse, which uses government data on weather to help businesses anticipate disruptions in service. And then you've got a Virginia company called Opower that's used government data on trends in energy to save its customers $200 million on their energy bills. There's an app called iTriage, founded by a pair of ER doctors that uses data from the Department of Health and Human Services to help users understand medical symptoms and find local doctors and healthcare providers. And today I'm announcing that we're making even more government data available and we're making it easier for people to find and to use. And that's going to help launch more startups. It's going to help launch more businesses. Uh, some of them, undoubtedly, will be using this data powered by uh, chips that essentially started right here at Applied Materials. It's, it's going to help more entrepreneurs come up with products and services that we haven't even imagined yet. And this kind of innovation and ingenuity has the potential to transform the way we do almost everything. 